Welcome again to Narvikus Plays Echelon 1. Last time we were startled awake by a nearby sound, and I still haven't had the guts to turn on the torch. <laughs> oh, it's gonna murder us as soon as I turn the light in it. And go! Hello? I don't see anything. What is it? What? Ooh. You! That's it. I was worried over a Fudge. Whatever. I'm just gonna go. I feel humiliated now. I was worried over the friggin' stuff again. Son of a bitch. Okay, still got five torches. Not that worried. Open the door. I see a heavy, uh, reinforced man of steel. Yada yada yada. Worried about a frickin'. What was that? You entered this small antechamber and see it in a state of chaos. Chairs lay strewn about, a broken table lies splintered on the floor, and a rotting corpse lies in the corner. This room appears to have been a meeting area at one time, but it is now little more than a filthy tomb of a mediocre thief. How he met his fate is a mystery. Great, just so he's just as the mystery as I am to me. Uh, you got anything on you? Okay. 40 gold, oh yes. Heavy boots. Oh, it's heavy armor though, I don't use. Iron dagger. I wonder, is that better than the one I have? Or, should I turn off the torch or don't eat it? Uh, hang on. Can I examine weapons? Can I examine weapons? Alternate weapon. I can have an alternate weapon. I don't know. Apparently, I can't use shit. Moving on, that was pointless. Alright, go away. Turn it back on so it doesn't. Um, okay, so I got a key. So apparently, I needed a key for something. What? It was over here. Uh, it's not a table. It's still too friggin' dark. What's this? A portcullis. Fantastic. I gotta go back and find a switch. Oh, the backtracking in old games. Don't you love it? I forget where this was made. I'll, I'll look it up. And mention it at the beginning of the next video. If I remember, I probably won't. But I'll try. My memory's crap, but I'll try. Ooh, here's a door. I missed it. Knock, knock. Any bats? Any lip? That would be a yes. Sealed barrel. Oh, frig. It saw me. Where is it? Where is it? It's too dark. There you are. Die. I said... Die. Lighter. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. What do we got? A barrel? A femur? A skull? Which is awesome. Do I want to take the femur and the skull? Oh, why not? I don't know what I did it for. Maybe I just... Um, Four gold, got a wick. And now I have a pet skull. I shall call him Bob. Ooh. So, wait, what the frig? What was the point of this area? Is there, like, a switch or something I'm missing? A door? I hate it. I'm confused. Maybe I missed something the other way? Or, wait, was... Did I... I'm an idiot. I... For some reason I thought this was worth leading to the... Check the map. See, this is why I have the mini-map, because I'm an idiot that gets lost very, very easily. I also hear water. Oh, I'm stepping in water. Here. 
what? Okay, I'm not wondering how some sees me. You see a fungal slime that has spotted you. It is currently out of attack range. Burn it. Oh my god. Um. Ow! And it's ranged. Shit. Aha! Got you. Oh god, there's another one. I saw another one. I saw it. Where? Where? Yes. Kill it! Shit. Kill it. Ah! Ow! Burn. I didn't run out of mana. Sheesh. What? Water again. I do have mana potions, but in a pinch. I'd rather... Else in here, like loot or stuff. Use no. <sighs> okay, so torched a couple of slimes. Open to port colors to God knows what. Used up a torch. I think I can use a mini map to feel my way around. Let's see. A tiny, I'm the tiny white dot. So if I move this way, or, yeah, I'm making it. I'm making it. Screw you. I don't need a torch. I can see just fine. I think I just walked into a wall. Yeah, I walked into a wall. Yep. Okay, so now I don't know what lies ahead, so I won't... I mean, monsters shouldn't, like, respawn. Should they? Do they? I, uh, I don't know what's behind this door, and I don't want to know. Uh... Statue of an animal enclosure that seems to have been not that seems to have not been cleaned for quite a while. Mold grows thick on the walls in this area. Oh, that sounds inviting. Very, very inviting. Another portcullis. But the switch is right there. Should I be worried? Uh, what's in here? I don't see anything. The process of elimination gets me nowhere. Uh, hello? Uh, what the hell is that? It's gold. I'm out. It wants to eat me. You see a Noxamander that isn't aware of, of your presence. Oh good. It, doesn't just, oh. it isn't aware of my presence, but it's coming right the frig at me. I'm out. Screw you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is he? Can I? Oh my god, that is awesome. I crushed it under the friggin' pork collars. Oh, any more monsters come after me. I'm doing that to him. Oh god, another one. Come on. Little closer. Points ever. Oh my god, even easier than more entertaining than that unlocking that door. That was awesome. I gotta remember to take advantage of that every chance I get. Oh my god, that's awesome. See, old games knew what the hell they were doing. Sometimes. Sometimes not, but you know, you can find some cool stuff. Hello, what's back here? Oh. Uh, is this like a boss room? Or were, were those things the bosses? Well, if anything comes out here, I can just drop a port on its head. <laughs> Don't kill me! Who's that for your chest? Hello? It's loot! It's the treasure room! Fuck yes! What's in here? Salt. Thirteen gold pieces. Seriously? That's it? What's in the big chest? A bar of mithril. Ooh. Shiny. Mm, me like it. Me like it a lot. 
So, wait, did I just clear this friggin' dungeon? Seriously? I cleared it with a portcullis. Dropping on those things. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm gonna enjoy this game. I think. Probably. If we kill things. Because I did that in. Oh, I didn't. I kinda did that in Skyrim. But. The thing was already dead when I dropped the portcullis on. But it skewered it and lifted it back up when I opened it again. That was pretty funny. It was in the first stone. The, where am I? Oh, duh. The first stone um, dungeon that you really have to go to, the... Shit, I can't remember the place. Bleak Falls Barrow. That's it. The guy that gets shot by those poison darts. I moved his corpse to the portcullis and dropped it on him. Uh, what? I don't know why, I was just... Oh, hi guys. Wait! No, seriously, but what? Wait! How many of you fuckers are there? Holy shit! Get away from me! Get away! Where did you come from? Die! I need more of you. Damn it. Damn it. Work. Stab, stab him. Screw you. Work. Kill him. Finally. Dude, you suck with a knife. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Jeez. I. Oh, fuck. That wasn't really. Uh, mana points, hit points. Get the hell out of this friggin' dungeon. I hate it. Well, I don't hate it. I got mithril out of it. Hopefully I can make something spiffy with it. I need to find a blacksmith that can make something. Oh, God! Oh, that was too close. That was way too friggin' close. Way too friggin' close. Whew. I don't need to die after all that. I'm gonna get out of this place I'm saving. This is a pretty long, boring ass trick. Ugh. What? Successful first adventure into a dungeon. Which is surprising. I figured I'd have died. Sometime. <clears throat> Let's see what time is it? How long have I been recording? I think. That was not too far. I mean, I've been there. I, when I played the... Oops, wrong way. I think. Yeah. When I played before the test classes, I just basically ran straight to frickin' Arendelle. Talked to Maddock, and... It's dark. Son of a bitch. Uh... Turn out the light. Don't try to save me. Rest until daytime. Because, why not? Dead escape. Okay, now I've got a little mana. Okay, I think Caradel is... It's in this general area? I don't really know. I, I don't know where I went. How did, how I, I don't kind of remember how I got to it from where I started. And where I started was... What is this town called again? What is this? Dedicated to the riders of Theramore, valiant defenders of the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth. Not like the Commonwealth dickheads from Fallout, are they? There he has a sign. What do you say? Hey, no trespassing? Oh, Elder Hollow. No, definitely not Aerodel, that's good. I'll just follow the road, maybe I can. I think this is the right way. What do we got? A fork in the road. And a sign at the fork in the road. Northwest, Grimhold. Northeast, Aradel. Southwest, Elder Hollow. Southeast, Salted Coast. Well, 
this would be northeast, apparently, so it follows cardinal directions like this. North, south, east, west. Uh, I always get this too mixed up. I don't know why. Oh, God. See, with games in this style, I'm never sure if north is considered that way, that way, or that way. Because it tends to vary. This one apparently is straight up. It's easier to run. What is hitting me? Oh, I didn't even see you. Get away from me. Get away from me. Fuck you. You melted. I should probably have fucking before I started this walk to air. Damn it. Ugh. I think I've run into that much opposition. sign nearby. Walk over to it and touch it to activate this location in your quick travel menu. There's a quick, there's a quick travel menu. Okay, I added it. Uh, you are entering a village that is smaller than the deserted one you awoke in earlier. The streets appear to be mostly vacant, yet sounds of life can be heard within the walls of the buildings. You are hopeful that talking to the locals in this town may help you make sense of your situation. It was all that stupid dungeon. I want to get some story project story progress done at the end of this one at least. So let's go talk to Magic. And then, once we talk to Magic, I'll have next to no idea what the hell I'm doing anymore. I didn't end up having a fucking idea in that dungeon. Well, I won't know anything as far as the story goes. How about that? Yeah. Uh, talk to me, man. You see a frail-looking man who has seen the passing of many years. Hey, what are you doing here? You can't just barge into someone's house without being invited. I suggest you turn around and leave before I teach you a lesson in manners you won't soon forget. The old man picks up a broken table leg as, he intend as if he intends to use it as a club. Oh my, he's a friendly sort, isn't he? Look, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking for a man named Maddock. Are you him by any chance? Oh yes, excuse me. The man looks at you up and down for just a moment as if he might recognize you. Hey, I believe I'm expecting you. Your name is Norbitus, <coughs> isn't it? I have something for you. Yes, I'm glad I found you. I was given a strange <coughs> note and was told I needed to locate you. I hope you can help me make sense of this confusion. I don't know if I can help you, help you with your confusion, but I do have a letter and some gold that I was told to hold for you. I've kept it in the chest over there. You can fetch it yourself. Oh, um, uh, thanks very much. I wish I had time to chat a bit, but I must be going. You're welcome. Thank you, Maddock. Kind of a, oh, he's kind of a, He's alright. Ooh, 300 gold. It's four. And some silk note. <coughs> Another one from our friend E, I expect. Oh, good God, it's big. What a way to go out, huh? Alright. Let's see how bad I can botch this. Narvikus, if you are reading this, then you have made it safely to Aradel and found Maddox. I could not risk leaving this document with you due to the sensitivity of the information I'm about to disclose. I was unsure how long you'd be unconscious, and I couldn't risk having this document end up in the wrong hands. Maddox is a simple man who has lived in this village most of his life and knew I'd be a trustworthy and I knew he'd be a trust trustworthy caretaker of the parcel I left for you. Use the gold to buy supplies for yourself, whatever you need to secure your safety and well-being. I wish I could have left you more, but it was all I had. I'm sure you are wondering who I am. My identity will be revealed in time, but for now you should simply trust me. Whether or not you decide to is, or you, whether you decide to or not is your choice. Now, about yourself, you were part of something very big, an event that has affected this entire region. For your safety, you were placed into hiding, and your memory was erased with a special serum. The name you think you remember? Narvikus? 
was imprinted into your mind. I will not reveal your true name here because of the danger it would bring to you. So you should continue to live by the name Norvegus. It would be wise for you not to draw attention to yourself by asking too many questions about your past. Okay. Your true identity can be revealed to you, but only if you are willing to accept the risk that accompanies it. You must decide for yourself whether to seek the truth or to simply become Narvikus and settle into this new life. If you choose the path of truth, it will be hard and dangerous journey. And so, if the truth is what you seek, you need to start by retrieving an amulet that belongs to you. Before your memory was taken, you requested that I secure a special amulet for you. I did so by slipping it into the coffin of a recently deceased aristocrat named Alder Keldum. He is interred at a, in a vault at the Eversleep Cemetery in the North Parish region. I knew his casket would be a secure place to hide your amulet. The problem now is retrieving it. The door to the crypt is locked tight. Smashing the door down or picking the lock might be an option, but, I, but it may be easiest to just get the key. The cemetery director, Lyric... Lyric? Lyric. I don't know. Lives a bit north of Aradel and has the key. I'm confident you could figure out a way to get it from him. Once you retrieve your amulet from the crypt, take it to a woman named Lilith who lives in Tangle Tree Forest. Look for her house in the heart of the woods. She will tell you what she knows of the amulet and set you on the right path. Finally, you must use this time to rebuild your strength, stamina, and knowledge. You were once very proficient in many skills with many in many skills which the CERN has caused you to forget. Only through experience and practice will you be able to reacquire these skills which you have lost. It is the only way you'll be safe. E. So... I used to be a badass, but you friggin' ruined it by wiping my memory to make me safe. You took away my powers to make me safe. You... Ugh. Okay, that is what just went down, I guess. I, I'm out of here. He's taking a stroll on shore. Anyway. Um, well, that's the story so far. Should be interesting. I'm not sure from the sound of it. I don't know if I want to play out more of or not. life in jeopardy, I may just want to run around and do nothing. That'd be fun, right? Right? Uh, I'll probably have some... Follow the storyline, so you guys... <coughs> anyone who watches this type of entertainment of entertainment. I'm just gonna follow Matic around now. Lead on, sir. <coughs> anyway, uh, I will... get the next episode up, um... eventually. <laughs> In, let's see. I'm trying to. I'm doing everything. for me. Have a good one.